All right, guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am John Brown, and today I'm going to be checking out the Ola England Solar A27 Lemon Neon Guitar. So this is Solar Guitars, and this is Ola's newest venture after he left Washburn. And it's very similar to the Washburn Solar that was obviously made by Washburn. <laughs> so anyway, let's go a bit over the specs. So this is a 26.5 inch scale length guitar. It's got a maple neck, an ebony fretboard, and the body is made of mahogany. The bridge is no names. The machine heads are actually labeled Solar on the back here. The pickups are Duncan designed, I believe. The Duncan Solar. So these are actually labeled for this particular guitar. It's got a tone and a volume, neck and bridge pickup, and Ola's signature 12th fret inlay. For me, firstly, mahogany is not my favorite guitar wood for a guitar body of a seven or eight string guitar. I have this problem with the mud in the lower mids, and it's always there for me. So that's the, that's the first thing I have to sort of think about when I'm reviewing this guitar. Just because I don't like mahogany doesn't mean that no one else will. But I will compare it to my Mayonez, and at the same time, there's not really any point comparing it to the Mayonez because you could buy seven of these guitars for the price of a Katsi. It's completely different leagues, but upon first impressions, this guitar does feel very, very good to play. I'm just gonna jam through some stuff so you guys can hear what it sounds like in action. Just running through a Hughes and Kenner Triumph, coffee custom cabs, mic'd up, you know the score. Let's have a listen. Sounds pretty great to me. I'm gonna try it through the Grandmeister now because I want a, a couple of effects on a clean sound. So yeah, the first thing that I would potentially do is change the machine heads just for locking ones. I just find that it helps a lot more with tuning stability. Although playability of this guitar is actually very, very nice. <laughs> Thank you. 
Sounds pretty good on clean. Let's try a lead sound, shall we? A little bit too much delay and reverb. now. My chorus needs to turn off as well. Sounds cool. Let's try the triumph for rhythm again. Sounds pretty great. I'm just going to compare it to my Mayonnaise 7. Notice it doesn't have that mahogany thing. So as I say, for me, it's personally not my thing with mahogany, but it does sound good. It feels really nice to play. The body size is actually smaller than my Devel as well, so it's very, very comfortable. Even though the Devel is already very small and very comfortable, it's even smaller. Let's compare the Solar one last time. It's very, very light actually. Even that, that Devel isn't heavy at all either, and this is even lighter. <laughs>
it's really, really quite good. I mean, the price at Toman is 755 euros. It's very, very, very cheap. 690 English pounds or something like that, probably close to a thousand US dollars. And it, it plays great. Like I have no gripes with it. It's incomparable to the Mayonnaise because the Mayonnaise is one of the best crafted guitars you'll ever pick up. If you've had the opportunity to pick up a Mayonnaise guitar, there's nothing really quite like it. The only thing that I would personally change is I would change the body to be older or ash as opposed to mahogany because I really just cannot stand mahogany on seven strings um, because that low mid kind of woof. If you're on a budget under a thousand euros, then it's definitely worthwhile checking out Solar guitars as an option for your seven string, eight string, or even six string needs. So yeah, thank you very much for checking out my channel. If you have anything you want me to test out, please ask it in the comments. Tell me what you think of the tone. Tell me what you think of the, the guitar. I mean, I know that this color isn't for everyone, but I think it's kind of neat. <laughs> I think it looks great. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace.